All right, welcome back. Today we're diving into an AI architecture that's really shaken things up. It's called Mamba. Now, people are calling it a breakthrough for one huge reason. It promises to make AI way, way more efficient. So what does that actually mean for you? Let's get into it. Okay, so let's just start with a question that, you know, is probably on the mind of anyone working in AI right now. These models, they're getting smarter and smarter, but they're also getting incredibly expensive to actually run. So is that sheer cost? That price tag of scaling all this power, is it becoming a real roadblock for your business? And that right there brings us to what everyone is calling AI's big scaling problem. You see, there's this weird paradox, right? The more powerful and capable our AI models get, the more and more resources they just eat up. And all that computing power, all that infrastructure, the sheer cost, it's creating a whole new set of problems. So what do those problems actually look like in the real world? Well, you're looking at sky-high infrastructure costs. You're looking at these frustratingly long response times, you know, latency. It's this just insatiable hunger for computing power. And here's a huge one. The massive bottleneck that happens when you try to process really long documents. This is something the dominant transformer architecture, it just really, really struggles with. Okay, so this is where the story takes a really interesting turn. Enter Mamba. Now, this was developed by some brilliant researchers from Carnegie Mellon and Princeton. And what's so important here is that it's not just another small improvement on what we already have. No, this is a fundamental, ground-up rethinking of how AI can even be built. It's designed specifically to tackle these challenges, cost, efficiency, head-on. So what exactly is Mamba? Well, at its core, it's a totally new framework built on something called State Space Models, or SSMs. All you really need to know is that these are fantastic at handling long sequences of information over time. And here's the radical part. Mamba completely gets rid of the famous attention mechanism. You know, the thing that powers models like GPT. And it swaps it out for a selective, memory-based approach instead. A total game changer. You know, this is probably the best way to really wrap your head around the difference. Imagine a transformer. It's like someone who tries to read an entire page of a book all at once, comparing every single word to every other word on that page, all at the same time. I mean, it's incredibly powerful for sure, but it's also ridiculously resource intensive. Mamba, on the other hand, acts more like you and I do. It just reads from left to right, word by word, and it's constantly updating its memory of what it just read. It's a much more natural and efficient process. So, okay, this all sounds cool in theory, right? But what does this totally different way of thinking actually mean in practice? Well, it leads to some pretty serious advantages out in the real world. Let's break down how all this efficiency actually translates into real performance. Let's just start with a big number, five times, five times faster. I mean, on tasks that involve these super long sequences of information, we're talking a full research paper, a massive legal contract, early benchmarks are showing Mamba running up to five times faster than a transformer of the exact same size. Think about that. Getting an answer in one minute instead of five minutes. That is a staggering leap in speed. And you know what? It's not just about raw speed. It's also about efficiency. Doing more with less. Get this. A Mamba model with three billion parameters can match the same level of accuracy as a transformer that is twice its size. Let that sink in. You get the same quality results with a model that's much smaller, much leaner, and yeah, ultimately, way cheaper to run. Okay, let's put this into terms that really matter for a business. With transformers, the compute cost grows quadratically. That means you add a little more data and your costs just skyrocket. It's out of control. Mamba, though, scales linearly. Your costs are predictable, they make sense, memory is another huge deal. Transformers demand these massive, expensive GPUs. Mamba's memory usage, it's low and it's fixed. And for that critical problem we talked about, long context, where transformers just hit a brick wall, Mamba absolutely excels. All right, so we've geeked out on the technical details. But the real question is, what does all this efficiency actually unlock in the real world? Let's talk about how businesses can turn this from a cool idea into a real, tangible opportunity. Let's think about one of the most obvious places this could make a difference. Customer service. We've all been there, right? Imagine a chatbot that doesn't forget the first thing you said five minutes ago. With Mamba, it could actually remember context from the very, very beginning of a long conversation, leading to an interaction that's you know, drastically more helpful and way less frustrating for everyone involved. And from there, the potential applications just, they're vast. I mean, you could summarize an entire dense report in a single pass. In manufacturing, 
you could be analyzing continuous streams of data from sensors to predict when equipment might fail. For an e-commerce site, you could analyze a customer's entire journey, months of data, to see if they're at risk of churning. All of this stuff, which was so hard before, suddenly becomes possible because Mamba can finally handle these long, continuous sequences of data efficiently. Okay, so the potential here is pretty clear, right? The obvious next question is, how do you actually start using it? Let's get into the practical side of what it takes to adopt this new tech. So the path forward is actually pretty straightforward. It's basically three key steps. First, you've got to identify the right use cases in your own business. Where are those bottlenecks? Is it with long documents, streaming data, or the need for super low latency responses? Second, and this is great news, you don't have to start from zero. You can leverage the awesome growing open source ecosystem. There are official implementations and models right there on places like Hugging Face. And third, you do need to plan your infrastructure. To really unlock that incredible speed Mamba promises, you're gonna want modern CUDA enabled GPUs. All right, let's just zoom out for a second and think about the big picture here. Because Mamba isn't just another new tool in the toolbox. It's really pointing towards a future where AI could be far more sustainable and honestly, way more accessible for everyone. And what's really powerful is just how perfectly Mamba lines up with the biggest trends happening in the entire industry right now. Its efficiency, that makes it perfect for edge AI. I'm talking about running models directly on your phone, in your car, not just in the cloud. Its lower resource needs, that means a smaller energy footprint, which is a huge step towards sustainable AI. And for businesses, this is the kicker. It means faster, cheaper cycles for fine-tuning custom models on your own proprietary data. And really, all of this brings us to one final big question. As this whole AI landscape starts to mature, maybe, maybe raw power isn't the thing that's going to matter most anymore. The next great leap forward, your next big competitive advantage, what if it's not built on size, but on pure, simple efficiency? Something to think about. Thanks so much for joining me.